CIET NCERT presents audiobook of geography for class 6 entitled The Earth Our Habitat This is the lesson 1 The Earth in the Solar System from page number 1 to page number 9 Let's listen to the lesson number 1 The Earth in the Solar System Page number 1 How wonderful it is to watch the sky after sunset! One would first notice one or two bright dots shining in the sky. Soon, you would see the number increasing. You cannot count them anymore. The whole sky is filled with tiny shining objects. Some are bright, others dim. It seems as if the sky is studded with diamonds. They all appear to be twinkling. But if you look at them carefully, you will notice that some of them do not twinkle as others do. They simply glow without any flicker just as the moon shines. Along with these bright objects, you may also see the moon on most of the days. It may, however, appear at different times in different shapes and at different positions. You can see the full moon only once in about a month's time. It is full moon night or Purnima. A fortnight later, you cannot see it at all. It is a new moon night or Amavasya. On this day, you can watch the night sky best provided it is a clear night. Do you wonder why can't we see the moon and all those bright tiny objects during daytime? It is because the very bright light of the sun does not allow us to see all these bright objects of the night sky. The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies. Some celestial bodies are very big and hot. They are made up of gases. They have their own heat and light, which they emit in large amounts. These celestial bodies are called stars. The sun is a star. Countless twinkling stars in the night sky are similar to the sun. But we do not feel their heat or light. And they look so tiny because they are very, very far from us. Let's do! You'll need one torch, one sheet of plain paper, pencil and a needle. Step. Step 1. Place the torch in the center of the paper with its glass front touching the paper. Step 2. Now, draw a circle around the torch. Step 3. Perforate the paper with the needle within the circled area. Step 4. Now, place the perforated circle part of the paper on the glass front and wrap the paper around the torch with a rubber band. Step 5. Take care that the switch of the torch is not covered. Step 6. In a dark room, Stand at some distance facing a plain wall. Switch off all other lights. Now, flash the torchlight on the wall. You will see numerous dots of light on the wall, like stars shine in the night. Step 7. Switch on all the lights in the room. All dots of the light will be almost invisible. Step 8. You may now compare the situation with what happens to the bright objects of the night sky after the sun rises in the morning. Page number 2. You must have noticed that all objects look smaller when seen from a distance. How small an aeroplane looks when it is flying at a great height. While watching the night sky, 
you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars. These are called constellations. Ursa Major or Big Bear is one such constellation. One of the most easily recognizable constellation is this Sapta Rishi. Sapta meaning seven, Rishi meaning sages. It is a group of seven stars as shown in figure 1.1 that forms a part of Ursa Major constellation. Ask someone elder in your family or neighborhood to show you more stars, planets and constellations in the sky. Figure 1.1 shows Saptarishi and the North Star. The girl in the figure is seen facing the north side. She sees the pointer stars and the north star. On her right is east side and on her left is west side. In ancient times, people used to determine directions during the night with the help of stars. The north star indicates the north direction. It is also called the pole star. It always remains in the same position in the sky. We can locate the position of the pole star with the help of the Saptarishi. Look at figure 1.1. You will notice that if an imaginary line is drawn joining the pointer stars and extended further, it will point to the pole star. Some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light. They are lit by the light of the stars. Such bodies are called planets. The word planet comes from the Greek word planetai, which means wanderers. The earth on which we live is a planet. It gets all its heat and light from the sun, which is our nearest star. If we look at the earth from a great distance, say the moon, it will appear to be shining just as the moon. The moon that we see in the sky is a satellite. It is a companion of our earth and moves round it. Like our earth, there are seven other planets that get heat and light from the sun. Some of them have their moons too. Interesting fact. Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus have rings around them. These are belts of small debris. These rings may be seen from the Earth with the help of powerful telescopes. The Solar System The Sun, eight planets, satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids Continued on page number 4. Form the solar system. We often call it a solar family with the sun as its head. Page number 3. We can see the diagram, the earth in the solar system. Figure 1.2 shows the solar system. Where we can see the sun and the other eight planets. We can also see the distance in million kilometers where one million equals ten lakh. Mercury is 58 million kilometers away from the sun. Venus is 108 million kilometers away from the sun. The earth is 150 million kilometers from the sun. Mars is 228 million kilometers from the sun. Jupiter is 778 
million kilometers from the sun saturn is 1427 million kilometers from the sun uranus is 2869 million kilometers from the sun neptune is 4496 million kilometers from the sun we can also see an asteroid belt between the orbit of mars and the orbit of jupiter the figure also marks inner planets that are very close to the sun they are made up of rocks number 1 is mercury one orbit around sun that is 88 days one spin on axis that is 59 days second is venus one orbit around sun that is 255 days one spin on axis that is 243 days third is earth one orbit around sun equals 365 days one spin on axis is one day number of moons is one fourth is mars one orbit around the sun is 687 days one spin on axis is one day number of moons is 2 and for the outer planets the fifth planet jupiter has one orbit around the sun that is 11 years 11 months about 12 years one spin on axis is 9 hours 56 minutes number of moons about 53 sixth planet saturn one orbit around sun 29 years 5 months one spin on axis 10 hours 40 minutes number of moons about 53 seventh planet uranus one orbit around sun 84 years one spin around axis 17 hours 14 minutes number of moons about 27 eighth planet neptune one orbit around sun 164 years one spin on axis 16 hours 7 minutes number of moons 13 Page number 4 The sun The sun is in the center of the solar system it is huge and made up of extremely hot gases it provides the pulling force that binds the solar system the sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system but that tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because despite being our nearest star it is far away from us the sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth planets there are 8 planets in our solar system in order of their distance from the sun they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn Uranus and Neptune An easy way to memorize the name of the planets in order of their distance from the sun is My very efficient mother just served us nuts All the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in fixed paths These paths are elongated they are called orbits 
Mercury is nearest to the sun. It takes only about 88 days to complete one round along its orbit. Venus is considered as Earth's twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of the Earth. Till recently, August 2006, Pluto was also considered a planet. However, in a meeting of the International Astronomical Union, a decision was taken that Pluto, like other celestial objects, Sirius 2003 UB313, discovered in recent past, may be called dwarf planets. The Earth The Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun. In size, it is the fifth largest planet. It is slightly flattened at the poles. That is why its shape is described as a geoid. Geoid means an earth-like shape. Do you know, Sol in Roman mythology is the sun god. Solar means related to the sun. The family of the sun is therefore called the solar system. Write down as many words using the word solar on your own as you can. Word origin Many words used in a language may have been taken from some other language. Geography, for example, is an English word. It has its origin in Greek, which relates to the description of the earth. It is made of two Greek words. Je means earth and graphia means writing. Find out more about the earth. The diagram shows geo, j, plus logi or logia, study of the earth. Geo plus metri or metria means measurement of the earth. Geo plus oid is resembling the shape or form of the earth. Do you know, humans have always been fascinated gazing at the night sky. Those who study the celestial bodies and their movements are called astronomers. Aryabhat was a famous astronomer of ancient India. He said that the moon and the planets shine due to reflected sunlight. Today, astronomers all over the world are busy exploring the universe. Page number 5 Conditions favorable to support life are probably found only on the earth. The earth is neither too hot nor too cold. It has water and air, which are very essential for our survival. The air has life-supporting gases like oxygen. Because of these reasons, the earth is a unique planet in the solar system. From the outer space, the earth appears blue because its two-thirds surface is covered by water. It is therefore called a blue planet. The Moon Our Earth has only one satellite, that is, the Moon. Its diameter is only one quarter that of the Earth. It appears so big because it is nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies. It is about 3,84,400 kilometers away from us. Now you can compare the distance of the Earth from the Sun and that from the Moon. Figure 1.3 shows the Moon as seen from the space. The Moon moves around the Earth in about 27 days. It takes exactly the same time to complete one spin. As a result, only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth. The moon does not have conditions favorable for life. 
it has mountains plains and depressions on its surface these cast shadows on the moon's surface look at the full moon and observe these shadows figure 1.4 shows the functioning of a human made satellite the first picture shows a rocket launch the second picture shows how a rocket falls back to the earth and the third picture shows how a satellite enters orbit do you know light travels at the speed of about 3 lakh km per second yet even with this speed the light of the sun takes about 8 minutes to reach the earth interesting fact Neil Armstrong was the first man to step on the surface of the moon on 20th July 1969. Find out whether any Indian has landed on the moon? A satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planets in the same way as the planets move around the sun. A human-made satellite is an artificial body. It is designed by scientists to gather information about the universe or for communication. It is carried by a rocket and placed in the orbit around the earth. Some of the Indian satellites in space are INSAT, IRS, EDUSAT, etc. What do animals and plants require in order to grow and survive? Page number 6 asteroids figure 1.5 shows an asteroid apart from the stars planets and satellites there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun these bodies are called asteroids they are found between the orbits of mars and jupiter as shown in figure 1.2 scientists are of the view that asteroids are parts of a planet which exploded many years back meteoroids the small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteoroids sometimes these meteoroids come near the earth and tend to drop upon it during this process due to friction with the air they get heated up and burn it causes a flash of light Sometimes a meteor without being completely burned falls on the earth and creates a hollow. Do you see a whitish broad band like a white glowing path across the sky on a clear starry night? It is a cluster of millions of stars. This band is the Milky Way galaxy as shown in figure 1.6. Our solar system is a part of this galaxy. In ancient India, it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky. Thus, it was named Akash Ganga. A galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases. There are millions of such galaxies that make the universe. It is difficult to imagine how big the universe is. Scientists are still trying to find out more and more about it. We are not certain about its size, but we know that all of us, you and I, belong to this universe. Figure 1.6 depicts Milky Way. Page number 7. Can you relate yourself with the universe now? You are on the earth and the earth is a part of the solar system. Our solar system is a part of the Milky Way galaxy which is part of the universe. Think about the universe and the fact that it contains millions of such galaxies. How do you fit in the picture? Earth, solar system, Milky Way galaxy, the universe. Exercises. 1 Answer the following questions briefly. A. 
How does a planet differ from a star? B. What is meant by this solar system? C. Name all the planets according to their distance from the sun. D. Why is the earth called a unique planet? E. Why do we see only one side of the moon always? F. What is the universe? 2. Tick the correct answer. A. The planet known as the Earth's twin is 1. Jupiter 2. Saturn 3. Venus B. Which is the third nearest planet to the Sun? 1. Venus 2. Earth 3. Mercury C. All the planets move around the Sun in a 1. Circular path 2. Rectangular path 3. Elongated path D. The pole star indicates the direction to the 1. South 2. North 3. East Page number 8 E. Asteroids are found between the orbits of 1. Saturn and Jupiter 2. Mars and Jupiter 3. The Earth and Mars 3. Fill in the blanks A. A group of Dash Forming various patterns is called a Dash B. A huge system of stars is called Dash C. Dash is the closest celestial body to our Earth. D. Dash is the third nearest planet to the Sun. E. Planets do not have their own Dash and Dash. Things to do 1. Prepare a chart of the solar system. 2. During a vacation, visit a planetarium and describe your experience in the class. 3. Organize a quiz contest on the Earth and the solar system. For fun 1. The sun is commonly known as Surya or Suraj in Hindi. Find out its name in different languages of our country. Take help of your friends, teachers and neighbours. 2. You might have heard that people make human chains and run for world peace etc. You can also make a human solar system and run for fun. Step 1. All children of your class can play this game. Assemble in a big hall or on a playground. Step 2. Now, Draw 8 circles on the ground as shown in the figure drawn on the opposite page. Use a 5 meter long rope. Mark at every half a meter with a chalk or ink. Place a small nail to mark the center. Now, hold one end of the rope at the central position. Ask your friend to hold the chalk at the half meter mark and move around the nail holding rope and chalk together on the ground. You have drawn one circle just as you do on paper using a compass and a pencil. Draw other circles in the same manner. Step 3. Prepare 10 placards. Name them as Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Step 4. Select 10 children in the following order and give each one of them a placard. Order of placard distribution The sun, tallest The moon, smallest Mercury, Mars, Venus and Earth 
almost equal heights. Neptune, Uranus, Saturn and Jupiter taller than the earlier four planets but smaller than the Sun. Now, ask the children holding placards to take their places with the Sun in the center in their orbits. Ask the child holding the moon placard to keep the hand of the child holding the earth placard always. Now your solar system is almost ready to go into action. Now, make everybody move slowly in the anti-clockwise direction. Your class has turned into a small human replica of the solar system. While moving your orbit, you can also turn around. For everybody, the spin should be anti-clockwise except for Venus and Uranus who will make the spin in the clockwise direction. The chapter 1 of total 8 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Vasundhara Bose Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India